where I only needed two more motos to go. And outside of mass chaos, there's no way anyone was going to beat me. Um, when I think of 2004, that was a that was a huge year for me. I mean, in in my career, for several reasons, not only on the track, but off the track. And it really started from late 2003 when I tore my ACL. I was going to try to race 2004, just make it through Supercross season, and lay out for uh, for the outdoor motocross because I knew that there was no way uh, I was going to be able to make be able to make it through a whole season of outdoors. And then, then, you, then you talk about the results of the racing in 2004 in the outdoor season uh, going undefeated. Uh, not, not only one time, but that was the second time that I had done it. Coming off an ACL repair, uh, honestly, that wasn't even my plan to go undefeated. My plan was just to go out there and try to win the championship, just because I knew I was racing against some bad dudes. And uh, I, I, I didn't know what to expect. All I know is that, that I wanted to win. And uh, I knew he had some ground to make up, but I also was scared because I hadn't been riding that much. So this is what's so special about the Strafer line to me is the emotion side um, and the results side that, that, that came with it. You know, Bud's Creek, my, my grandfather was there. He got to watch me win, uh, you know, my 100th win. That was huge. That was huge at the time, and uh, it's special. In fact, I still think I have that t-shirt buried deep somewhere that they made some special t-shirts that we gave out on the podium celebrate, celebrating the, uh, the 100 win mark. Man, that was, a, that was a great day. That was really a great day. And I remember each win just looking back and being like, damn, man, this is going really good. This is going really good. It was almost surreal. It's crazy because, you know, I think a lot of people think about, when they think about myself, you always think of orange. But um, that really wasn't, orange was my favorite color when I was a little kid, but I don't feel like it was my favorite colorway on motorcycle gear. Uh, black and red was one of my favorites. Imagine a supercross track, uh, but on the national circuit, and that's what Troy was. Uh, I love not only all the jumps, it was always fun, but I loved the corners at, um, at Kenworthy's. It was so much fun. I, I wish it was still there today. I wish that track was still there today. I feel like in today's world, it might be a little narrow, uh, but damn, was that track fun. Glen Helen, the final race, right? It's like I've made it every single round. I hadn't been beat yet. And, you know, I'm on the cusp of going undefeated. And I will tell you this, that for me, at least, in personal experience, I never felt the pressure of going 24-0 until the last moto. And um, because it's like you make it 23 motos being undefeated, you can't go that deep and not seal the deal. So uh, that, was, that, that was special. But in practice, I ruined myself. I come over this tunnel jump, Kevin Windham's bike's laid out in the landing zone where I was gonna land, boom, go metal to metal. And just from the sheer impact of going metal to metal, uh, yeah, I just like, like blew up my ankle. It ended up, even though, my, even though my ankle was swollen, it didn't hurt that bad. And uh, hell yeah, man. We, we suited up, went out there, and, and had just an absolute epic day. And I will tell you, what is really special and, and still to this day means a lot to me is how both times when I went undefeated, just other team members just being at the checkered flag, cheering for me and just, you know, being as happy as I was, that and, and the amount of respect, that was so cool. I tell you what, going undefeated uh, in our sport, when you think about all the variables that could go wrong, it's nuts. I almost think beating the odds or the variables and, and things that can go wrong is more impressive than winning the winning every every race. It's yeah, like dude, how do you not get a flat tire? 
How does your something not happen to your engine? How does someone not fall in front of you? Boom, you run into them. I mean, there's just so many things that can go wrong outside of trying to win.